three bloody reasons you're not getting results in the gym during winter. Uno, dos, tres. Reason number one, you're moving around less, right? Your total daily energy expenditure, your TDEE, that's what everybody loves saying in the fitness space. They feel like they're fucking geniuses because <laughs> they can use acronyms. Your TDEE, uh, your NEAT, your daily non-energy expenditure, altitude, dick. Anyway, look, Trick is, you're not really moving that much in winter. Chances are you're rugged up, you're spending more time at home, uh, which means you're burning less calories. So it's probably easier to put on weight doing the exact same things that you'd normally do day to day. So a way to overcome that is obviously start moving and start compensating for the lack of exercise with more exercise. I know for a fact, I'm probably gonna put the heater on probably gonna lay on the couch butt ass naked. I'm probably gonna wanna watch some TV. So what are some of the things that I can do to counteract my laziness or my coziness in wintertime? Is set an agreement with myself to go for a walk 20 minutes a day. Uh, that should give me about 100 to 150 calories of energy burnt, uh, which isn't a whole lot, but it kind of adds up over the week. It's about 1,000 calories in the week or like 750 or some shit, uh, which is about the same. So things like that can really be good. So that's number one. Number two is making sure that you're eating a weight loss supportive diet uh, in the winter months. Because I know more often than they're not um, on weekends and stuff. Winter time for me, like I kind of, I kind of want to chill out and eat comfort food. So if I eat diet supportive food, so for me diet supportive food means meals that are typically going to keep me in a calorie deficit throughout the day. Uh, so that might be like 200 grams of chicken and 150 grams of rice. Like that is a, a, a diet supporting meal for me. Uh, so can, I have that three times a day. By the end of the day, I'm going to be in a deficit. Uh, so that might be different for you, but that's one way uh, you can overcome your comfort eating on weekends is having less calories throughout the day. So then weekends or the times where you do eat more cozy food, you can safely without putting on extra weight. So let's say you really love a fucking soup or like a lasagna or whatever it might be for you that's your cozy food, you can still fit that in if you have a diet supporting food throughout the day. So that's number two, have diet supporting meals more often than not, 80% of the time, which is pretty much what I practice anyway, uh, but really ensuring that over winter can stop you from putting on those extra kilos in the six sort of six month period uh, where you're gonna be less active. Number three is making sure that you get enough sleep. What a lot of people don't do is uh, focus on how much sleep that they're getting and what impact that has on our mentality and, and our psychology is, is that actually lack of sleep makes you more impulsive due to like fatigue and all that sort of stuff. And so the more impulsive we are, the more likely we are to make poor decisions. And so if we're, we're rested, uh, if we have eight plus hours of sleep at night, that's what I encourage. I don't think seven really is the best, uh, but seven and a half and above is, is my personal sweet spot. If you can have seven and a half hours and above each night, you're gonna be less impulsive, which means you're less likely to uh, make a shitty dietary decision when you're on the road. Let's say you're hungry, you haven't eaten breakfast, lunchtime hits and you're starving. You're less likely to go to the chicken shop and get a Porto's. You're less likely to, um, you know, have a kebab or something like that. And you're more likely to probably plan ahead because you're well rested and you're less rushed in the day. Uh, so things like that really make a big difference in terms of our behaviors and actions throughout the day. So three things, what did I say? I want you to walk more. I want you to make sure you account for the fact that you're probably gonna want more yummy soul food in winter. Um, and then also uh, sleep more. So fairly basic stuff, but I think really important during the winter times to make sure you are <clears throat> kicking your goals home running your goals, whatever it is that you want to fucking call your goal, your goal hunting. Anyway, look, I'm talking now and just rambling. Hope you guys have a great day. Hope you found this video educational and uh, yeah, all the best.